Welcome back to the Lakeside Productions YouTube channel. For anybody new to my channel, I'm repairing a 1940 40-foot seaplane tender, which is constructed of double diagonal mahogany and oak ribs. I noticed there was an issue with the bilge pump in the engine room. Every two and a half minutes it should knock on and pump any water, but I noticed that it wasn't making any noise, and this was the, the next day, so it must have happened during the night. Uh, so a lot of water kind of built up in the bilge, as you can imagine, but nothing alarming, not, not, not an alarming amount, thankfully. Um, so we have a small leak in the engine room at one of the outdrives at the, the transom. We're not sure if it's the actual bellow at the transom between the outdrive and, and that, or if it's due to, like, you know, rotten timber. But uh, it looks to be, I had a close look at it, and upon inspection, it looks like there's water just underneath the bellow but we're not sure exactly, so we'll have to check that out uh, shortly and see what sort of plan we can make to, to get it repaired and while it's in the water. We might be able to jack up the back, make some scaffolding, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. So for now, I temporarily placed a, a bilge pump in the wheelhouse cabin bilge, um, and then I just fitted in the, all the plumbing that needed to be done or just connected the hose on to the true hole that's already there. Uh, and I can just turn this on remotely with the remote, so if the cover's down uh, in the evening, it's not a problem, I don't have to go into the actual boat, I can just press a switch and it comes on. Continuing along the hull towards the stern, I'm cutting out any rot, any affected timber. Of course, checking with a chisel, checking if there's see any checks in the paint, and that's a tell sign if there is any rot there, you can locate it easily. I cut that out, back to good timber, I apply wood hardener, let that set, let that go off. Then I scarf in marine grade plywood, Lloyd's approved, of course. Uh, and then mix up some epoxy with microfibers to build that up, and it has good strength and gap filling as well. Um, and then I'll get that on there, screw it in place with some stainless steel screws. This Makita belt sander, which I'm using, is absolutely fantastic. My father used this very belt sander 30 odd years ago when they were doing all the work and repairing the boat back into a liverboard. They had the boat on the hard and they were able to do some fantastic work. I mean, this is why the boat is floating today, guys, after 30 odd years, you know, floating in the water. And, you know, they did amazing epoxy work as well, epoxy and, and mat, blast the entire hull up as far as that rubbing strike. I mean, that is without a doubt why it's in great condition today. So this belt sander is just way too heavy for this kind of work, working on that vertical surface in close to the hull. Uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult to be honest. So we actually picked up a orbital sander uh, the other day and you're going to see that in the next episode as well. Just makes the work a lot easier and to, to fare fine, uh, concise areas 
um, it's a lot easier and it's battery operated as well but it's certainly a, a job for this Makita Bell sander and uh, it, it, it does the work that the orbital sander can't do as well. So I'm raking out all Sikaflex in the joints in between the, the planking and I'm going to put in some more caulking and use more Sikaflex the Marine, Sikaflex 291i here and just do a test piece to see how it'll look. Um, and I mean, I've used this before in other places on the deck and stuff. So it's a great product and I think it'll uh, it'll stand well here. Um, and then it could be repaintable as well, of course. So I'm mixing in low density filler in here with the the epoxy, the West Systems epoxy. I'm not sponsored by West Systems, but you can see I'm using their product a lot um, in these episodes. And I used to be using like different things like car fillers. I tried my hand at that. That, that stuff is horrible in my in my honest opinion of, of using and like auto body, auto body filler. Um, I find like you know a lot of people use it and swear by it too, but I find the that if you put that against the wood, you know, you're filling gaps, screw holes, things like that. If moisture gets in behind it, it's just not going to do its job. You know, it's, that's it done. Um, if there's movement, it starts to crack. It starts to, you know, you, you've seen that stuff. It just doesn't seem to work well at all. And it doesn't adhere too well. And it just lasts a short, short amount of time. So I find that, you know, going with the good stuff with epoxy, you know, mixing it up with the low density filter, then using the the uh, microfibers for real structural strength then and, um, and then you can use the low density filler for fairing and stuff that seems to be working very well for me um, so that's my two cents on I'm going with the epoxy So bailing out any water that made it forward um, into the kind of the next living quarters or the next cabin, and um, you know quite a bit builds up that the bilge pump can't actually get either. So I gotta get in there with the the bucket and the sponge and get that out of there.
So what's recommended with using the low density filler, you know, mix that into your epoxy until it becomes like a peanut butter consistency. And that's what works great for, especially for fairing or applying to vertical surfaces like the hull. Um, and in fact, I probably could have gone a bit thicker here, but um, you got to add a lot of that stuff uh, to get it built up. And it, I mean, it works great. So that's all for this update guys i hope you enjoyed this episode let me know what you think in the comments below i appreciate all your constructive criticism and to hear what you guys are working on yourselves it gives me great motivation to continue and then to get episodes out there quicker for you guys too so please do subscribe if you haven't already leave a like on this video it'll help me out a lot i also have a paypal link in the description below if you feel like further supporting the project there and that's it for now guys stay productive and have fun creating i will see you guys in the next episode